YouTube and welcome to a new review here on Watch On channel. My name is Anas and today I'm very excited to present you uh, to a completely uh, new watch that is actually a prototype. So this is actually 000 of 000. So this uh, watch isn't in production yet actually. This is the Boulder Expedition and Boulder is a, a brand, a micro brand uh, from Asia, which is uh, funded by from Kickstarter campaigns, and this is the new watch that they're trying to fund on Kickstarter. Actually, this watch is already funded with almost 300%. This is the Boulder Expedition, as I said, and this is uh, a very interesting watch. Uh, the version I have here is, of course, a prototype. It's a prototype of one of six different versions that is coming out in May. So. Right now you can get a discount if you go and back uh, Boulder for this watch. And so this is a, is a watch that is built for adventure and expeditions. And just before we get into the different details about this watch, let's just have a very quick look at the six different versions of this Boulder Expedition watch and the Kickstarter campaign. So this is how the Kickstarter campaign looks. And what we see here, you get different options. You get the campaign. You get a lot of information about the watch. It's probably going to come in this uh, very nice uh, plastic box here. As you can see, they expect delivery May 2018. And if you're a very uh, early bird, you can get the watch for 539 US dollars. So this is the high early Kilimanjaro watch. So that's a pretty nice price for a watch uh, of this quality with sapphire crystal, the different functions, super super nice loom and also with a Swiss movement. So this is how it looks and let's let me show you the different options that you can get. So these are the six different options. So you get a white face, this kind of gray face, a more kind of bluish face and these three uh, black options and, and as you can see the case uh, color and material is different and also the strap colors are a bit different from these six different versions so if we go back up here we can see that this is already uh, pledged for 100 and, and almost 144 thousand us uh, dollars so let's start out by having the dimensions of this watch What we have is about 40 millimeter diameter. The lock width is about 20. From lock to lock, get just short of 48. And including the crown, let's just take one of them, get 44.5. And the thickness of the watch is 14 uh, millimeters. This watch it comes with a sapphire crystal. You have two crowns. The first crown at four o'clock is for setting the date you can wind it hand wind it you can set the date and the time with this crown down here i must say it's it's a it's a pleasure to to uh, handle this crown it's very very easy to unscrew and and screw back in it's very easy to grab because you get this kind of knurling here on the crown and it's it has the right amount of of resistance when you try to set the time and the date so it feels really sturdy and of high quality. So the other crown, if you look inside of the dial here, you get a north sign, south, west and east. And that is actually because this is watch is as an expedition watch is fitted with a compass. And I must say it's an ex absolutely a big pleasure to, to turn uh, the compass here because it's really, it's it's, you have really have to put some, some uh, strength in your fingers to turn it. And that's exactly what you want when you have a function of a complication like a compass with a watch. You want it to be really uh, precise. Often a lot of people, they compare this watch to the Seiko Alpinist. Because, just because it has the same functionality and it's built for the same purpose. But I would say th uh, the compass function is is miles ahead on this Boulder Expedition watch. If we look at the dial here, you get uh, like a typical field watch. You get the 12 hour and the, and the 24 hour clock with Arabic numerals. And what you get down here uh, at four o'clock, it's the date complication. And uh, we, if we turn it around, you get a see-through case back. This is uh, sapphire on both at the front and the back. And this is actually, as far as I understand, double dome sapphire crystal with the uh, anti-reflective treatment so it's as you can see it's very very clear it's very very nicely done and it just 
just slightly domes it. It gives the, the watch a very nice dimension when you look at it from the side. So this watch is actually fitted with the, with a Seiko movement. But when you get the real uh, watch from the, the, the Kickstarter campaign, you will have a Celita SW200, as we saw when I went through the Kickstarter campaign. You get a 200 meter uh, water resistance. And of course, this is completely black, uh, the case, as well as the strap here. What I really like about the strap is you get this kind of um, very, very sturdy uh, textured um, strap, but you get the leather inside. So what it feels super, super comfortable to wear. And I really like that it, they fit it with this uh, metal. So it, it feels really sturdy and of high, high quality. At the end of this video, I will of course show you a loom shot. So what we got here is a watch that is water resistant down to 200 meters. So you actually also get a watch that is has the same water resistance as many dive watches uh, around. Uh, if you look at, the, for example, the Alpinist, it's also a 200 meter water resistant watch. I really like the layout of the, of the dial and I really, really like uh, these kind of syringe hands. They're very legible. I really like this uh, orange pop on the second hand. It really gives it a nice uh, combination with the, with, the, with the compass crown out here at uh, two o'clock. It really just makes uh, the dial uh, pop and you can actually also, if you're, you're counting seconds, it's very, very easy to count the seconds because you get this uh, orange uh, top of the, of the second hand. So very nice uh, little feature with the, the orange here. It, I think it, it makes the watch just get get a little, it gets a little more life than just being a completely black watch. I have, in, I have a 7.1 inch wrist. Uh, this is about 18 centimeters in, uh, in the metric system. And I must say it just feels really, really comfortable. Uh, what they actually did, if you can just sense it, you have these kind of perfed locks. So this makes the watch actually just uh, sort of hug your wrist, which makes it very, very comfortable. Couldn't probably uh, be afraid of is that the crowns will actually irritate your wrist. But for me, it's absolutely no problem. I can't really bend my wrist too much that way. So it's it's absolutely no problem. They're, they're really nicely in a nice size and fitted the right way. So they won't irritate your, your wrists or your, or your hand in any way. So all in all, a very impressive watch. And I must say, if this was a Swiss-made watch, which is it's half and half a Swiss-made watch, as it will come with the S U S Alita SW200 movement, this would be a lot more expensive that, than this watch is actually going to be. So a very good option if you're looking for a, an expedition field watch, at this Boulder Expedition. Remember to subscribe and comment, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, thank you to Boulder uh, Supply Company for uh, sending me this watch on the watch tour to just get a, a feel of this watch and give my opinion here on my channel. I will see you in the next review. Bye. Okay, as you see here, it's absolutely stunning loom. This loom is actually Swiss Super Luminova. So this is high, high quality loom, as you can see here. And I really, really like that they did this two kinds of loom. So you've got the very bright green on the uh, minute markings, uh, uh, hour markings between the other hour markings. So you get this bright green and this more uh, kind of light green. Very, very nice job here on the